So really quickly, we're going to talk about uh, food and farm animals. Um, it's a real short, uh, it's not really a lecture, but it's just to set up talking about the ethical um, issues, some of the things that we see as uh, veterinary professionals and uh, why we need to kind of uh, discuss this. Um, some of you come from a farming background. Uh, this may not be something that you've thought a lot about um, in terms of a moral and ethical dilemma, um, but we have to realize that there are other people who uh, do see this as a moral and ethical dilemma. So let's just talk about it briefly. Raising animals for the purpose of human consumption can be something of a moral and ethical dilemma. Now, why is that? Well, animals, including cattle, sheep, chickens, hogs, geese, ducks, goats, and all other things um, are living and feeling beings. Uh, most people like most animals. We keep them as pets and sometimes refer to them as fur babies. And uh, more and more, you're seeing people that really um, are seeing uh, animals as family. Uh, we have to keep that in mind. So, but people in general eat meat and meat comes from animals. And in order to obtain the meat that we eat, we must kill some of those living, feeling beings. So are these people contradictory? If they love animals, why are they eating animals? Um, how is this balanced? How is this real? Um, so here are some, some actual uh, uh, thoughts or quotes. Um, I butcher my own chickens for food. I've also known to, been known to go out of my way to isolate a sick chicken in an attempt to restore her good health against my better judgment and with full knowledge that I'm probably wasting my time. Or I allow my dog to get rid of small furry garden destroying animals such as rabbits and groundhogs. But when my pet rabbit died, I cried off and on for a couple of days. And then we have, um, you know, somebody has hogs that, have been, that are butchered and they eat the meat. They sell piglets to other farmers and to auction, sell pork to others. Um, and this person attempted to nurse a little newborn boar pig from a baby bottle when his mother rejected them. And they lived in the bathroom for a day and died about a day later. So, you know, do we see this all the time uh, as farmers? Yes. Uh, we don't want to see animals suffering. We don't want to see animals um sick. Uh, but at the same time, we realize we know where our animals are coming from and uh, and that there is an end uh, point. And also with, for instance, dogs, uh, allowing them to be a part of the whole um, life cycle that is outdoors versus in your in your house um, is something that uh, some people um, are OK with and some people are not. The Livestock Farmers Code of Ethics. Um, this code is, is an unwritten agreement between livestock farmers, those who raise animals for food, and the animals themselves. While a food animal is in my position, it is under my care. I will provide the animal with a healthy, safe, comfortable, peaceful life. In exchange, the animal will be butchered for the production of meat for human consumption, and the slaughtering will be done in a humane and respectful fashion. So if that is the way that things are done uh, with all livestock um, across the nation, across the world, uh, that could make things um, uh, easier for those that are doing the production and those that partake in, the, in eating the meat. But the question is, do we have a broken code? Um, we have, you know, a lot of um, chickens produced uh, through uh, Tyson or uh, as egg layers. Um, they live their entire lives in a dark or dimly lit building without access to fresh air and sunshine. But chickens are birds, and birds are not meant to live in the dark indoors. Um, this is not a comfortable life. It's not healthy for the chickens, and therefore it is unethical. Um, there have been a lot of stories uh, about how chickens are handled, about how dairy cows or dairy calves are handled. Um, and we need to look at those um, objectively and make sure that when we are, are uh, participating in buying produce uh, from the store, meat, eggs, dairy, uh, that we are uh, understanding where that is coming from uh, and, uh, and, and to be a proponent for keeping animals in an ethical manner. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about in our Zoom conference today, uh, or when, when we do uh, meet. Um, we're going to talk about the ethicality and, and what you're going to encounter if you do go on a, on farm call, uh, and uh, just talk about you know food producing animals in general.